woke up early in the morning again. It took me a really long time to get back to getting up early. Not that I've tried, probably that's the reason. Um, but uh, for some unexplained reason, whenever I wake up early, I have the urge to solve some tactics. So I figured I might as well stream. And uh, I think after every exercise I get wrong, I'll try to um, stop and, and s explain the solution because I think you cannot see the notation here in this particular setup. Let's see if people can actually hear me before I get on with the exercises. Okay, it takes a while. Um, okay, in the meantime I'll adjust the settings Excuse me, you'll see something changing at the board. Preferences. So... People are screaming outside. Hmm. No wonder I don't, wake, I don't work in the mornings. Okay, so... Let's see. Continue on correct. Okay, makes sense. Okay, it seems well. I should be able to start soon. Just want to make sure that uh, the stream is actually working. Yeah. Let's see if I can hear myself here. I should be. Yeah, okay. So, seems like everything is just fine. Other than the people outside. Hopefully the music I'm going to put will neutralize it. Alright, so without further ado, let's start with the session. If you don't understand one of the solutions that uh, I get correctly, then um, you can stop the video and uh, try to figure it out. In any case, I recommend figuring everything out on your own, if possible, uh, rather than uh, counting on me to, to tell you everything. And uh, as mentioned, uh, the main goal for me is to improve myself and uh, only afterwards to try and uh, be educational. So hopefully we'll find the balance. Good luck and uh, let's see how it goes. I'll have a quick look at the chat every now and then also. Those who don't know how it works, say uh, the opponent makes a move and then it's my turn. I need to find something. Where's my rating? Oh, it's not within the screen's range. You know what, I feel like I might adjust, adjust it so you c that you can see the rating somehow. Um, it's not so easy. I'll do it on the next stream. I'll just tell you it uh, like uh, every few exercises. I'll share the number. It doesn't look too good right now. Nine G four makes sense. You can also take it. 
I just woke up, so my brain doesn't really work uh, very quickly at this moment. Okay. I don't see why not to take the rook, so I feel like I'll just go for it in knight g4. And yeah, now I'm I was correct, but I lost 33 points because I was slow. I ah, it's blitz. Okay, so I have to to fully concentrate. So it's 2190. I don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah, you can. Nice. if I take okay this was a mistake um, let's see queen takes f2 what oh queen b1 check so easy just blundering the rook. Okay. Um, 66 points. After so long, it's probably a good idea to, to be right in the first couple of exercises to gain some points. Because the, the factor is quite high for every exercise. I better solve them well. It will take me a really long time to recover the rating afterwards. Bishop d5, Bishop d5, Knight d5, Queen d5, Knight takes g5. If you take on e4, I take on c7. All right, 47 points. To the good guys. Okay. This reminds me of a game by Nakamura that he blundered the piece somehow uh, in some rapid CD knight d4, bishop d4. That makes sense. I mean, it's not necessarily this game, but it looks very similar. Um. I don't see a better option, so knight b3 takes on his. Ah, I can just go queen somewhere. Queen somewhere. Let's say c3. d1 also looks possible, but. Ah, knight c5. Okay, so this is the square. Now let's grab it. Yay, 21 points. Okay, I have to faster. To do it faster. Increase the pace. Alright. If I. I don't know what happens, but if I don't, I lose after knight c6. Now I have three options. Taking here it looks like the safest. Otherwise, well, I may find myself in trouble. Yeah. Okay, 19 points, nice. Recovering. Okay, knight takes h2 looks like the solution before I even see his move. And just queen h4, yeah. Alright. Rook takes his 7 Followed by something. Also knight to f2. Followed by queen h3. No! Rook takes e7. Mm, knight takes e4, I guess. Let's go through the variation. Rook takes e7. Rook. No, not rook b8. The interesting move is rook takes e7. But they wouldn't elaborate. I guess just capture and now the queen attacks both the rook. And threatens and deadly deadly check on f2. 
but I don't like it. Knight age f2 is wrong because rook f1 and there is no follow up. Okay, next problem. Not really mating, but it's very close. The other option is to go queen e5 and just be completely winning. No, ed3 is the solution. Queen e5, rook c5. Oh, I actually saw it and I forgot. I realized it earlier when I was calculating, but and then I kind of uh, was focused on e takes d3. Yeah, but this is really a good looking move to play now bishop ah uh, not bishop b3 just rook f2 and this is just winning wow okay interesting line in any case this position is winning for black because after king f1 i have d2 and i'm winning and um yeah, king d2 allows rook f2 with check, so this this is the move, and now check. I oh, know, actually, I don't know why bishop b3 is not the move, but rook takes f2 is a very subtle solution because the queen cannot really move somewhere. So I'm down a queen in this position, but I'm winning for for some reason. The immediate threat is like bishop b3 check, followed by d2 check and rook e1. But uh, it's not an easy exercise. Okay, moving on. Thank you, Agadmator, <laughs> for the compliment. Hmm. I kind of feel bad about stopping. Uh, with the Twitch channel because people can watch afterwards and actually see the chat but now it's not possible the those who will view the archived version will not know the chat messages I'm reacting to so probably it's a good idea to to read it read them out loud first okay let's go rook g3 or rook g2 Rook g3 makes more sense. No, rook takes e4. How could I have missed it? Hmm. What's so bad about rook g3? It's not even an option. Might be just losing somehow. I guess rook f5. If I go rook g3, you just go rook f5 and you want to mate me. Yeah, that was a really bad move. Simply rook e4. Oh. And then this is the key move. Okay, next one. Grab your bishop. Mm. 
All right, that wasn't too complicated. Rook takes e5 looks like a, could be a good move. Rook d1. But I don't see a follow up. I want to move this knight to a good square, but it doesn't seem to exist. Rook e5. Ah, I see it now. I think so. Rook takes, rook takes, knight g6. Does it make sense? I don't think it does. No. <laughs> Just go back to e1. Oh, I have to take an e1 and on d1, but... Okay, let's focus. Knight d4 check and then... Mm, nothing. So when I calculate I want to first check all the captures. So... Okay. Just take on d1, on e5. Also, rook takes d1 and knight takes g2 makes some sense, but I don't know. Doesn't strike me as a solution. But... This is the best I can see here. Oh, but then knight d3... Come on, there must be something here. Rook e5, rook e5... see anything. Okay, my brain is completely shut down at this point. Let's slowly wake up as we go by. The purpose of these exercises is mainly to help me wake up and get go on with my day. To have a productive uh, to productive sessions later on. Focus. 
Knight takes d2 immediately is the move. Yes. Finally got it. And I gained reigning. Okay. This wasn't that difficult. Once I realized there was an intermediate move, knight takes c1 check, but it took me forever. Okay, so. Rook g5, hg5, queen d7. Queen c7 to avoid queen c4 check. Thank you. Okay, moving on. He grab his queen after queen h7 check, but maybe there's something stronger. Queen h7, knight takes g7. Looks really strong. Now I have several options, but probably only one is correct <laughs> from my experience with this site. Knight f5 looks good, followed by queen g6 check. I mean, I'm so much material up, I can go knight g7 check also and take the rook after king e6. capture with it's never an easy question to answer mm, my gut feeling tells me that it should be the rook but there is I don't know like how to tell the difference it's just intuition in this case queen takes e6 makes a lot of sense Okay, good job. <laughs> Rook takes b8. And now, how to win? Usually, a rule of thumb is to keep the king closer. But in this particular case, maybe there's something unique. I don't think so. I think it should be Rook b8. And just bring the king. Also rook b4 in this particular case. King moves, rook f4. I think rook b4, otherwise I might be in trouble. Yes, okay. So this is the way to win, plus the way to avoid losing, so it's relatively easy to find. Okay, knight f4 looks like an idea in some cases. Not here, queen e3. Queen f4 Nothing special, queen b5, rook takes e3 Let's try it Winning a piece Winning a piece Ah, actually I have more than one option, he has queen h1 so I had to foresee it but this seems good enough Just to grab the rook Peace out. All right. So whichever comes first, I'm gonna stop. When I cross 2300, or when the music ends. Okay, so... Knight f5, gf looks like a way to go. Knight h5 is also very tempting. Even more tempting, I would say, because after rook g8, I'll have more options. So knight h5, gh... Uh, 
and then like there's so many options but I mean the straightforward way is g8 rook g8 but then I don't see a direct win I have to take but knight takes no wait something is missing what if I just take on f6 afterwards? Like knight h5, g8, rook f6. Also, not enough. It's not as easy as it looks. Um, starting with e5 makes some sense to open the bishop. Let's do it. But then rook takes e2, ef. I don't know. Even if I take, I mean, it might ruin my chances. After rook takes c2, am I winning a piece? Oh, I'm winning a piece in the process. Okay. No, it's not the right way. Rook takes c2. Why can't I go? E takes f6. Just, ah, just take and rook g8. Okay. So g5, I considered this move briefly, but I stopped after knight g8, uh, but it's very simple. It's quite pretty. After knight g8, I missed this resource, followed by rook f7 and knight g6 mate. Yeah, what a pity. I guess we're gonna have to wait for the music. Takes b7 looks like a very logical way to play. Then you take on f2. Then I need to find something. And queen takes e4. Yeah, just winning. Okay. Moving on. Bishop c4 really asks to be played. Now takes. Otherwise, there is no logic here. But after queen a6, there is no follow up. Okay, and I have to concentrate. I cannot rush. I mean, the bishop endgame is ne not winning for sure, so taking is what I have left. Queen a6. But I don't see a follow-up. Ah, queen a6 immediately. Nice. If king takes a6, bishop takes b4, and when this pawn falls, followed by the entire black camp. Ah, oh, this was a nice one. Who do I take? Ed looks like the way. D takes. We'll take here and d takes c5, some compensation. After ed is just lost, 97. All right, good job. Let's see, knight d5 or knight d... Mm. Knight takes c6 doesn't seem, doesn't strike me as the, the move that should be played. What can I do? I don't have much choice. Okay, I'm gonna take it. Queen takes e6 looks like a very decent idea. <laughs> Protecting everything. Knight g5. But it's very unclear what to do next. Need to find find a way to protect okay queen e6 knight g5 
and now there is probably a key move. Or no. Maybe 95 actually in this particular moment. But I'm not sure if you Thank you! First donation! I need a dollar! A dollar is what I need to Appreciate it! Dollar dollar bill, yeah! This was the long version. <laughs> I needed to change it. Uh, I guess the right one was on Twitch. I wanted this song to be much shorter. Thank you very much, uh, whoever it was. I'll check very soon. First, I don't. I wanna solve uh, this problem. Ninety-five. Knight takes e five. 25.6 I don't know if he has perpetual or not probably not but no but I don't see how to get away from the checks he keeps checking me okay let's focus shatter everything in the position queen e6 knight g5 Not so easy. Queen e6, knight g5. Maybe just queen f6 and. Uh, but then bishop takes e6, I don't see. Good follow up. Rook d2 is check. But again, it doesn't seem to help me out. Okay, one moment. Yes, okay. Ninety seven, ninety five doesn't work. Ninety five, ninety five. I mean, knight takes e five was my main problem, and I didn't even bother checking knight g five, which also seems to be working for white, even though I may have some rook d two idea or something. Then, if you give a check. On h7, king f8. 95, 95, rook d2, or queen h7, king f8. Queen h8, king e7, I seem to be able to run away. So you have to take on e5, this is a good sign. Then I take with the queen. Then you go queen g6, queen g7, queen e8. How do I run away from the checks? I mean, I mean, I, you have a pawn in, for the exchange in addition to to this seemingly perpetual check. So even if my king runs to the center, I'm I might lose to this pawn on e6. If there is a win here, then it should be much simpler. Queen takes e6, knight g5. And now some, probably some move that I'm missing. But what could it be? If I defend g6, then you can take on c6 next. Well, maybe it's just a draw. I don't know. I'm starting to lose hope for for winning here. 
I'm losing g6, then it doesn't make sense that I will win this game, so... If it's just a draw... Okay, I'm gonna go for the draw. No. Okay, let's see. 97 was the move after all. Okay, before they revealed the solution... Knight g5... Oh my god, no, it's so simple. Queen h5. Queen h5. After knight g5, I had queen. Sorry, what happened? Queen h5, yeah. Simply working. Yeah. Hey, Alon. Hey, everyone. Uh, let's see what was the chat me message. Jack donated $2. Are you playing with Hatch again? I enjoyed those streams. Uh, I enjoy them too, and I uh, appreciate it. I will play him again, most probably. We're trying to schedule some time, as uh, we've both been very busy recently. And uh, hope this gives you your answer. I saw you wrote it in the chat earlier, but I really wanted to concentrate on the exercises. So, um, But I, I was getting there even without the donation. So either way, I appreciate the support. And uh, feel free to... Uh, to do it uh, through Patreon if you want to, your name in the description as well. Alright, so let's see. Technically, if anyone who donates here wishes to be joined in some form of the Patreon rewards, then I don't have a problem with it. I don't know the technicalities of the issue but it shouldn't be a problem okay now king f3 or g4 can i give him a mate looks like i could be mating him g4 check because i want to grab this bishop so i'm going g4 you have to take on e4 knight f2 you have to take on f4 with the king then i really want to play bishop d2 or something king g3 rook g1 King h2, but no follow up. Okay, so after king takes f4, let's start over. g4, king takes here on e4. Knight f2 check, forcing king takes f4. Now maybe rook d3, uh, threatening bishop d2 mate. The only move is e4. Oh no, rook g1 threatening uh, bishop d2, only move is e4 and then knight h3. Yay! Let me... I, I don't have time to demonstrate, but... If you... If you didn't catch the line, it was g4 check, king takes e4, knight f2, king takes f4, rook g1, e4, knight h3 checkmate. Okay, now... Queen takes c1... A loss perpetual? I don't... I think so. Oh, but queen d5 check. Okay, so it does. So maybe rook c1? What's the difference? Uh, nothing. <laughs> no difference. Okay. Ah, there is some, some minor difference that I can see. Yeah. Rook c1, queen e4, king g8, queen d5, king f8. But then it looks really risky. So bishop d6, king e8, queen e6, king d8. It seems like I'm running away. Okay. No! It was queen c1 all along. Uh huh. What did I miss? Here I thought I was winning, but apparently after bishop b4 I'm not winning. Well, this is a really strong move. Very easy to miss, even in classical time control. Now, rook c7 and bishop a5. I didn't even realize he was threatening bishop a5. I thought he was just protecting. Yeah, bishop a5. Wow. This is just a draw. Okay. And for the solution, sorry. Uh, the right solution. Mm. Oh, I kind of changed 
the board adjustment by accident. What did I do? Okay, one moment. Okay, I think it should. Now it's fine, okay. Sorry. So, let's move on. So, queen e4 was the way after queen takes c1. Now, if king g8, queen d5, king f8, that must be the way. Ah, no, I have rook f7, obviously. Okay. I keep missing all these very simple moves. <coughs> now I'm just winning. Okay. Knight h6. I have to take. Now rook g7 makes some sense, but then you take and rook c7, and I'm getting mated. But I have other squares, like this one. Queen h6, king e7, or king e8. And then you give another check on c7, and then... Okay, so probably king e8, forcing rook g8, and then I have king d7. Yeah, and everything is protected. Nice. Queen d1, no. bishop e3, forcing something. No, I rushed. Bishop e3. I thought it should be winning because you cannot take, but if you go king f1... Another check. Um, my attack is finished. After queen c5, on the other hand, I still don't get it. Probably knight. Ah, knight d2. Yeah. And queen g1 mate. Very easy. Very easy. And here, just simple mate like this with queen g1. Okay. Do not rush. It's the first principle. When you have a winning position. Okay. What if I give a check? Followed by c6. Queen or rook? Probably rook. Yeah, otherwise, I take only one. Okay. <sighs> I have to concentrate. Queen d4. Looks like the way I will rush this time and I will lose again. Yeah, queen e3. I keep. I'm saying what I should and shouldn't do, but then I'm not applying it. I think it. No, it's, I'm not the only one who does this thing, but it's not an excuse. I have to. to apply my own wisdom. Okay, knight d2 is the way. Once you spot this move, it's fairly obvious it's correct. If rook d2, I have the fork. But to spot it is the tough part. Yes, after my move, queen d4, queen e3, white is better, probably. Yeah. Okay, you're probably gonna take on e5. I'm gonna take this 6 I have to take and now Rook of 7 It's not so obvious Can I go just e3? And if d7 Rook f8 No! <laughs> How is it wrong? Uh -huh. Bishop takes e3. Let's check it. d7, rook d2. Yeah, it's fairly simple. I just missed that you have bishop h4 in this position. This is a simple refutation. So instead of e3, before I see the right solution, I want to think about it. 
Probably I need to change the move order somehow by starting with rook f7, bishop e7, e3. Oh no, rook h7 check and king f7. It's so easy. Yeah. Rook f7, bishop e7, check and king f7 and game over. Because this time you don't have d7. With the bishop on g5, d7 is correct, but now I can grab your bishop. So no matter what you do, I go king e6 into d7. Oh man. Tal, what is your next tournament? Alon is asking. Probably uh, a seven round tournament in Israel that will start in five, no, in four days actually. Yeah. So, in Herzliya. But I'm not 100% sure. If I'll play, I still have to, to make some adjustments. Okay, rook c1, queen takes. No, bishop h7 is definitely the way. Threading mate in one, rook f7 is the only way to avoid immediate loss of material, but then rook c1. Yeah, and queen d6 if he captures. This move I missed actually, um, but there must be a win. Queen c5. You have to go rook e7 and then no follow up. What if I start with some idea like this? I don't know. It should be easier, but. I don't see anything here. Queen c5, rook e7, queen f5, rook f7. Probably a oh, rook takes e7, nine, queen e7, queen f5, okay. And now, yeah. The point is that if he played queen takes e7, queen f5 was a fork against the king and the rook on c8. Okay, so now, let's see. Rook e1, isn't it just mate? takes on queen c3 should be winning no queen d8 oh my god so much easier just to fork queen d1 mate and this queen c3 can probably just move queen b1 yeah something is wrong with me <laughs> okay let's just keep on climbing the fact that I'm going wrong so often means that I'm in the right place. Okay. The problem is that it's not standard exercises. So it, if I solve slowly and I'm correct, I'm still losing rating. So I feel like I have this incentive to... to rush and it's showing a bad example to everyone. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna take on f7. I don't see anything better. Which means there probably is <laughs> something better. Um, rook d4. Should be a good move. Then f6. Uh, no follow up. Okay, I'm taking it. King h1. King f1 also? No, doesn't make sense. No to take. Okay, they didn't even ask me for variations, but it seems like uh, black didn't have anything special. I just go away with the king and run from the checks, but might be more complicated. 
Okay, bishop e5, king g2, doesn't offer much. So, queen c5 looks like the way, 7, sorry, looks like the way. Followed by some queen somewhere. Ah, but I don't have squares, f4 and f7 are taken, so b5 afterwards. And then... To move my after knight takes b5, I need to move my queen with a threat. Queen a5, most probably. I don't know, it's not easy at all. Rook f1, maybe? But d4, the worst case. So, rook e8, probably even better. Yeah. Come on, why can I, can't I just. Spot the moves instantly, like I used to. Rook f2. Looks like a good move. Mm, King g3. And then... This. Alright. Not too bad. Knight h6. Doesn't work. Queen g4. Hmm. Come on, it's not so difficult. At least it shouldn't be. Ah, queen g5. I thought my queen was on d1. I was calculating queen g4 for a long time. If I have queen g5, then it must be the move. Now g6, and then knight to h6, king to g7. I don't see a follow up. Probably queen h6. Ah, nice. Queen h6. Gf rook g4, okay. Alright. Bishop d4. And rook takes g7, rook g1. And bishop f6. Rook g7 and bishop f6 is my guess. And now just taking your rook. Nice! Slowly getting back. Even though I'm still rushing. So I'm not sure if it's a good sign. Knight f7, queen e6, rook h1. Okay. Nice. Queen a1, bishop b4. Um, also inserting rook c6 makes some sense, but... No, oh, knight f7, just made into... Okay, queen a1. I have to do whatever it is that I'm gonna do with checks. So, queen a1, bishop b4, king e2, queen e1, king f3. Queen takes e6, okay. For some reason it took me a while. This one I missed, but... Um, yeah, I shouldn't have missed it, but I can just probably transpose like this. Yeah. If in the king e4 I had knight c5, four king, the king and the queen. to win. Okay, I can fork 
Nice. Nice geometry. Knight g4 check. King takes f3. <laughs> and resign. Um, Queen somewhere like e6 makes sense. Yeah. And now Bishop takes e2. Yeah, knight d3 check, and if king e2, then knight g6. No, some other knight check. Actually, didn't. I just thought it's nice to have a discover check, but I honestly don't know what. What's the way there? But it, it's dangerous enough to know for sure it was the right... I mean, with very high probability it was the right solution. Okay, thank you. If he would have uh, protected, I had knight d5 followed by bishop takes f6 most probably. Yeah, that was the point. King has to move to h6. No? Oh, knight can take on f7, I didn't see it. King h6 gets mated, probably, in one. Rook takes h7. I just didn't see the knight, so I figured I might as well rush. Okay, knight f7. And king h6 or h8? h8, you have perpetual, so h6. Now this. And we are... Finally winning. What a bad blunder. Okay, moving on. Life is not how much about how much you can hit, it's about how much you can get hit and keep moving forward. I'm working on this uh, imitation. It will take me a while, but I'll, I'll eventually be able to do the voice. Knight xf7. Looks like a move. Queen c4 allows. <coughs> Rook b4, no. Queen c4 looks just winning, but. We'll see, I guess. Yep, it is the right way. So. Seems like we're gonna have a long session, dear friends. E F or oh, Queen F seven is the, the easiest. Yeah. All right. Since I'm not gonna cross twenty three hundred anytime soon with this pace, um, even if I'm right in all the following exercises. So, let's see. Can I take it? No. You take and take on a five. So I don't know why, but I feel like YouTube is not informing my subscribers when I'm live streaming. And I I'm going to address this issue by probably scheduling the next uh, streams even though I really don't want to do it scheduling and, and posting a link on f Facebook or something that's why I think it's so important that if you want to catch me streaming then uh, it should be a good idea to like my Facebook page uh, link in the description I don't gain anything from it it's just uh, gonna help uh, more people get exposure even though even if you like the page just like on YouTube it probably means nothing and you won't see the the, the links that I will post so maybe just log into my channel <laughs> on a daily basis there's just no solution just give up you're not gonna catch me live 
streaming. Rook takes e6 and uh, who knows? Who knows? Takes, 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 queen f5. Ah, knight h4 maybe. No, queen f8 mate. So queen takes g2 just wins the pawn, but I mean it's not that impressive from where I'm standing. Even though I'm sitting down right now, but takes, 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 takes. I don't see a follow up. Okay, I'm going for the queen g2 idea, but it's almost humiliating <laughs> to grab a pawn like this. The fact that I can take with both rooks also annoys me a bit. Yeah. Obviously, knight gh4. Threatening mm -mm. knight f3. And then after you take, you can just. Take. Yeah, it's fairly simple. Protects the knight and just wins on the spot. Oh, okay, new rule. Crossing 20 to 50. <laughs> or uh, the music stops. Knight takes e5 and queen f4. Knight 6, d7. Takes the, Yeah, I think it works. I start to feel hungry as well, so I'm going for this 2250. Like a pimp. So. I don't know why a pimp would, would achieve 2250, but he might. Check and take some c7. Which one, which one? Probably none. Yeah, this one, to attack f6. Nice! Okay. If I continue to increase in the same pace, then I need like seven more in a row. One, two... Whoa. What is it? Do you see it? Do you see what happened to the board? Okay, we're back. Back again. Can go to h7 and here. No! Queen e7? No. Queen h5, king g7. I don't see the point. Queen g5, bishop g6. Why not? Why am I not winning after king h7? What is the problem? I honestly don't see a problem. Maybe rookie 1? No, but it doesn't make any sense. Why is it not winning? It wants me to play king f7, but... I mean, why? Queen h5? h5, oh my god. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. So everyone who, I mean, there is a solution for, for the live stream issue. It's not convenient, but uh, I just have to remind everyone like on on a, every on every video, on a regular basis, even though I dislike wasting time mentioning it. But there is the bell next to the subscription button. So if you press the, the subscribe uh, next to it, you press the bell, and then receive notifications, then that's basically 
what the original subscribe button was supposed to achieve, but for some reason they changed it. Those bastards. These. takes e4 and then you take with pawn me what can I proceed if I don't find the right moves I don't know how to cross 2250 what can I do if I cannot solve should I just quit or just keep up on trying keep on trying this knight takes and what's the move? What am I missing? Bishop b5? Doesn't make sense. Bishop b5, rook e7, I don't see it. There is a tactic here, I'm telling you. I can, I can both sense it and know it because this is a tactics trainer but I sense it as well so bishop e4 de there is a nice story I don't want to reveal all the names but one top player when solving an exercise uh, used to say something like to, to the coach like this position smells it stinks and the coach would ask why and uh, they would say, they would say uh, because uh, I smell some tactic. I can smell tactic from a mile away. I cannot find it, but I can smell it. That's probably the secret nobody told you about how to make progress in chess. This rook is hanging. That's all I can tell you. So queen h5 maybe? I don't know, rooks... I don't see a move here, I don't see it, I just don't see it. Maybe just f5 and win? Bishop b5? What am I missing? Rook e7? Oh, bishop d7. Okay. Well, I'm never gonna eat breakfast, aren't I? more in a row and I'll be good to go ninety eight King of Eight No not ninety eight seriously Seriously not knight takes e eight Ah oh, because of Queen takes e eight oh my god the rook is hanging Okay Ah, queen b2 is fairly easy once you spot the problem. Yeah, this is this is just mating. Okay. Ah, uh, come on. I can do better. Everything you can do, I can do better. Sooner or later, I'm better than you. Queen g6 Followed by mate I have to admit I missed this move but it doesn't change the fact that I'm going to mate you Sooner or later I'm better than you Okay Nine more in a row That can't be too difficult, can it? Okay, king d4 is one way, king b4 is the other. a3, a2. No, king d4 looks reasonably winning. f3, rook b4. King d4, that's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. This one also looks winning. I have no idea. Takes a3, rook e8. 
a2 rookie eight king b3 you have to take already no come on I need to find a defense in against one of them if king d4 there must be some trick f3 rook b4 rook a8 maybe just waiting and it's hard to make progress I don't know king c4 King c2, whatever, I'm going here. I'm going for it. a2, king b3. Yeah, baby! <laughs> 0.1. Okay, forget the 9 in a row I mentioned earlier. It's gonna take 400 in a row in this space. Okay, so let's see. Bishop e ah, check bishop e5 queen h no check queen h8 queen h yeah this is the right way I don't want to waste time even reading like not reading but you know mentioning the the, the variations out loud because <laughs> I'm afraid of this uh, because I lose points every every millisecond okay so let's see so many options so little time bishop takes pawn takes what to do what to do now bishop takes makes more sense to me and g takes you also take with the queen in both cases i go queen f6 king h7 then e3 is hanging. In both cases it's hanging. Hmm. Gh, queen h3. And then queen f6, king h7. Bishop. I don't know. I wouldn't know. Who can tell me the difference between the two? Bishop. So bishop h3, queen h3. Bishop takes. No, but then you don't lose any material. I have to go queen f6 check. You even have bishop g7. That's how not working this variation is. So I have to take with the pawn, queen h3. Then there is a key move. Probably queen f6 checked like earlier. Only this time. There's some difference. Yeah, bishop g7, I have queen f3, so. Oh, I don't, you have bishop g4. Bishop g7. Bishop takes h3, bishop takes f6. Bishop g2. I guess it works. Okay. Gh queen h3 queen f6 king h7 and now maybe queen e6 I don't know but then <sighs> it's probably the right way I made it losing points okay I feel too hungry my friends I'm feeling too hungry. I am don't know how long I can survive. There's like 50 minutes more left for the music. I, I'm going to gamble. I'm going to try to guess the, the solutions quite quickly so I can gain rating. It's a bad strategy. Don't copy it. But I just... I don't want to give up. So that's my best chance. Giving up is not an option for me. So... D takes C4. Mm. No. D takes C4 is not even mentioned here. Because Queen D8 and Queen F6 and I get mated. 
so knight c4 is another issue no that doesn't say anything probably queen rook d5 yeah so i have to take with the rook then after rook d5 what queen d5 queen e3 I'm just winning for for black queen e6 yeah whatever Okay. Ah, I have to solve quickly. Please don't do this at home. Don't try it at home. Speed. Okay, I'm glad I had it right, but it was by accident. Uh, give a check on d3 Rook d5. I honestly don't know bishop c3 Yeah, it makes sense. Why not? Okay, that's my reward for my speed 1.8 come on What what's going on here? Okay, speed! Faster! No! Rook e6 first! Of course! I don't want to allow queen takes e6. I mean, because you're gonna do it either way. <laughs> so I better not give a free bishop. Yeah, this was the right order! Ah! Come on! Come on, I need to get fed, to be fed, I don't know, to feed myself, to eat. I can't afford to gain half points until I'm 22.50, come on. I have to get better fast, there's simply no other option. Okay, the rook seems fairly hanging on h6, so... Would you mind if I play bishop a4? Oh no, thank you. Alright, takes, takes, and queen f4, the fork. In case you recapture on d7. Queen e5 is in the air. Queen e5 is in the air. Can I take it? I just want to take it. What's so wrong with capturing free pieces? You don't even have a threat! I don't know what to do. You don't even have a threat. Probably I should have played bishop c5. Ah, capture. Of course, queen e3 is good for me, but if you move your king, just take on e6? What's the point? I wasn't so happy. I guess bishop c5 is what I didn't consider. If you move somewhere else, you should probably just take and blockade and go knight c6, bishop d6. Okay. My rating is not very good right now, but it's within existence. Am I supposed to search for a win here? I guess... If I'm forced to search, then I can find something. Okay. Come on, 38 more points. I can do it. I know I can. I've proven myself in the past. 
that I'm capable. Nice! The point was if, if fg, knight g4 and f5 and rook h1 is inevitable. Mate. Okay, can I mate you my friend? a4, queen, a6, you go there. I'm considering queen c3 check, but it doesn't work. So a4 and followed by queen c3 looks funky. Um, Funky, funky. No. Ah, a4, b3. This is the way. Uh huh, uh huh. Where's the tactic? Here I don't even smell anything, I, I can't even pretend to smell. I guess I can take an a7, but it's really... Like, too much. It's very impolite to play like this. No, not a8? Really? Ah, you want to take on f2? So what, rook c2? Seriously? What is the move here? King g3, yeah. Come on. I can't afford to lose points like this. It reminds me of my chess career. <sighs> Making moves and not eating because I can't afford it. Interesting analogy. In this case, I've used this same vocabulary. There's probably so many chess players of the past uh, had to experience uh, literally <laughs> not finding good moves and uh, not and not being able to afford to 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 eat anything. Hmm. It's not that funny when you think about it, but the analogy is cool. Only in this case it's my fault and not not society's fault, I guess. Lookage five of six. Rook d5 maybe? Now if f6, what do I do? I don't see a follow up. Follow up. Rook at g1. Dun dun dun. Losing rating after finding this beautiful combination. No, look if one. <laughs> Queen f7 is mate. I thought I can take and go rook d1 and just play chess. Oh man. I'm starting to lose it. Hmm. Oh, but. This is an actual experiment. It feels like a scientific experiment, or should I say, like some form of a, a metaphor, even. To how my life will look if I don't improve my chess. Both as a player, a trainer, and I guess also as a streamer. 
let's admit it. You're not here for the, for the entertainment. There are, there are other entertaining options. It's just the combination between this and the potentially high level that has not been shown yet. So... Rook g1, bishop g6, and rook g1, and bishop g6, and rook g1. Yay, I got one correctly. Seems like I've been 22-12 forever now. Maybe it's my rightful level. Hmm. Thank you. I want to break the 2215 barrier once again. I think I deserve it. Okay. Rook. 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 B1 That's my guess For the best move Oh, but then knight takes B1 No, it doesn't make any sense <laughs> Oh my god No King D2, Rook B2 I guess I can take on A7 And go somewhere Rook A1 and then Rook D1 Your knight is almost trapped Guess it is okay. Let's guess. No, it's not the right way. Why is it not trapped? Uh, Bishop F1, if you move the right way, is Rook A1 followed by King D2. Simply, but why is my solution wrong? Rook A7 followed by Rook A1 followed by Rook D1 Ah, because we exchanged the Rooks and then it's probably a draw uh, But it is not a draw Is it? No, it, it is a draw You get a King to G4, King E3, King G5 Yeah, you changed my pawn I'll demonstrate it for those who didn't get it. So this position there is a very strong move king h3 and now king g4 and king g5 followed by h4 h5. Yeah. Oh. Konstantinos, it's an interesting question. Interesting question, and um, I'll read it out loud in a moment. King G2, King G1, Rook H1. 
I think this should work. But it never does. <laughs> King takes g3. Uh, what if queen h4? Hmm. What's going on here? Queen can move. Hmm. I'm guessing to f3. Check here. Guess f2 or something. Check here. And then I'm fine. Yeah, what a pity. Ah, it's so tough to improve. Okay, so Constantinos asked, Tal, did you ever think about making a tournament for your subscribers so we have a chance to play with you? Yeah, I had this idea. I called it the uh, Banter Blitz on Patreon. And I want to do it once a month, but I don't have enough... Uh, enough people who are willing to to join this project and I have some issues with Patreon where I um, I tell people I send them messages and for some reason no one responds and I don't think it's the people's fault I don't know if maybe there's a problem with the site or something but it's very tough to organize when I can't get the people to respond so that's the reason The other tournament uh, option is the Hatch Special, which will be... No? Not this move? Bishop takes d4, oh, because knight f3, so this first. Come on. The Hatch Special with Hatch, when we have this tournament on Leeches, or without him, like, uh, soon enough I'm gonna do a Hatch Special uh, with with the uh, subscribers, uh, those who will choose to, to pay for it. Um, I apologize or uh, want to explain that I, d I wish I could do everything for free, but just that the life of a chess player doesn't really provide me other uh, many options to, to charge for something. And I do f feel there is a lot of value for the person who will participate in the HUD special or the Patreon related rewards and on top of it the rest of the people will be able to enjoy the fruit of their investment for free so in a sense if many people will invest then everyone will enjoy more and uh, I hope it makes sense I'm trying to not to be too greedy about it and before I uh, will launch it officially I'll say that uh, the price is most likely to be around $150 for a two-hour session uh, when someone can experience uh, the same thing from Hutch's point of view. I wanna take it. Can I do anything else? Now... Now that I'm already too deep, I think I'm gonna take this guy. And now Bishop should move, followed by d6, probably here. But then you go f6 and king f7. So probably here. No! What's the problem? Maybe just bishop a3? I don't know. Rook c2, it doesn't work. d6, d7, rook c1 check. No, but seriously, what's the problem? What's the win here? Bishop e7, f6, d6, king f7. Shouldn't work most... Ah, but no, no, it doesn't work. What is it? Maybe... Bishop f4. Ah, to take the c1 square. Let's see. No, just c7? Bishop f4 doesn't work? Probably do the same thing. Yeah. So c7, f6, and bishop c5. Oh, that's the key move. And now white is winning. Okay, good. Good job tricking me. You very naughty website. 
king takes a2 is the only legal move. Mm. I guess I should give a check. Now... Rook takes b8, towards bishop c4, so I'm gonna give a check here first. And now I'm gonna grab your piece. Yes! Let's go back to my mighty 2212 rating. You know what? I have a new, a new goal. It's not giving up. I'm just adjusting my, uh, my goals. Happens every now and then. I hope I'll achieve it in the next 30 minutes, so I can eat as fast as I can before I probably lose my mind. The goal is to reach a rating of 22-22. I probably reached it somewhere during the stream. But it's a new reality right now. The past is the past. It's history. Let's forget it and focus on this. The here and the now. Rook takes d3. Queen c2 and bishop h3, no, yes. When rook takes d3 is the move, there is no doubt about it. Unless it's rook g8 actually. But rook g8... You don't have a square. I'm going for rook g8 and I'm grabbing it yay only lost one point Twenty-two, twenty-two. Here we go. Fairly forced and simple. Okay, 22, 22. Here we go, here we go. Let's do it. Running rook d2 mate.
good job. If he take uh, had he taken on d5, I have, would have had bishop. No, not bishop. Pawn takes f6, fall by queen g7. Pawn b7. All right, 22-22. Here we go. Adjusting my goals. Goals adjustment. This looks so tempting. But it's not the right move. Nothing in this life will we'll come for free, so get out the wallet, shake your dollars with me. I need the dollar, the dollar is what I need. I need the dollar, dollar bill, yeah. Okay, thank you. This, knight c3, bishop f3. Just doesn't work. Knight e2, king f2, knight c1, king f3. Knight takes a2, I guess it's the right way. Okay. But you gave me a full piece, why not bishop f3? I don't know. In any case, it was winning. Let's check out. Wow! Wow! Okay, I will respond to it in a, just a moment, but thank you so much. Just a moment. Just a moment. Let's see if it will update. It doesn't update automatically for some reason, but... Yeah, you see the freshly squeezed is not saying anything, but... Oh, you see? Something is wrong with it. In any case... Fixing it as we speak... No, I'm not. Whatever, I'll, I'll deal with it later. Probably. But... In any case... Thank you so much. Someone uh, with a name I cannot really pronounce yet donated a hundred dollars tipped is probably the better way to phrase it but it, it really means a lot thank you and we are that much closer to to my goal up here and uh, it's really relieving some of the pain that I've been through with all the issues recently the crushed laptop and so, some other things uh, some obstacles to to let's say mm, boost my my chess career. Let's let's put it this way. Okay, let's see. Can I solve something between my lectures? Twenty-two, twenty-two. So, Mister. Uh, AZ Fun 77 I read the uh, I didn't read the message so Tal this is for the videos you did with Hutch a while back they were incredibly helpful to me Mike Gilbert thank you very much and uh, if if you wish you can check the link in the description uh, regarding uh, the upcoming Hutch special videos and uh, they are coming out very soon and you will have the chance to experience it from his perspective if you wish okay so let's see can i win okay you know what i'll just fix it for the moment just give me a sec some issue here. Okay, fixing it very quickly. Oh man, I did the opposite of fixing it.
I lost it. Okay, I'll do it for the next stream. Forget it. It's too tough. Ninety-four. And by the way, the fact that they were really helpful to you, Mike, and uh, all the rest of the people who appreciated it one way or another, it really means a lot because I never thought I have uh, any particular expertise at teaching. I always knew I love it very much. I really love teaching, but I never sensed like I was. Uh, unique at it in a positive sense so seems like many people gave me fantastic feedback for it and um, striving to improve so hopefully sooner or later I'll be able to 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 help many many more people to to improve their chess and uh, philosophy for the game and for for life in general now the only thing I probably cannot do is to solve chess tactics. Let's see. Ninety four makes some sense, but definitely shouldn't be the solution well hundred dollars is a really really large amount to to just show appreciation it it's so much and yeah it's very helpful and uh, yeah it just shows like how many how many people can receive value from from what I uh, uh, can do thanks to the internet nowadays and so many other grandmasters and chess professionals can do but for some reason decide not to so yeah it's really I don't know really exciting to to have a have the streaming as a potential source of income even though it wasn't my my goal when I started it. So let's see. Queen c4, king g8, queen c7, queen g2 mate is not good for me. can't I solve it? It doesn't have to be that complicated. It's funny, but I don't know. You know, I had this idea to, to teach uh, much more often and analyze my games and other top players games and you know be very educational with the channel but i feel like in the long run it's much better if i focus and reach a high level of chess myself so the highest priority in my life right now is to improve my chess and to be successful at my training and so on but you know the road is full of uh, obstacles and this is one of them I don't care about the food anymore, I just want to solve it. In a normal game I would play 94 and think I have a big advantage, pawn up, everything is nice and smooth, but here it definitely wouldn't be the case, since I know there is a tactic. 
maybe 96. Your bishop has no squares. Okay. Oh man, it took me forever. Oh, Mike, I read that message. Uh, yeah. Thank you for for that message in itself was very meaningful uh, the comment from the previous video which is um, untitled right now or private I don't know how it's called because I want to divide it into shorter videos but yeah but that note was was very touching and uh, that helped me made my day let's say the other day now once again you made my day seems like you you made a habit for yourself to make my days better and uh, i'm really glad that you you can relate to to my issues so let's see um and and also agree with every word that you've said so I'll, I'll probably try to mention what it was later on but uh, first things first how can I get on with this exercise B takes C3 94 that has to be the start and now Probably just queen takes d7, knight takes c3 and some move. It doesn't even ask me to find it. with but rook would make more sense to me for some reason if I take with the bishop then queen c8 yeah and now I'm winning because of d6 or queen e8 check followed by d6 okay so bishop c3 King g8 takes takes rook g1 rook g5 no ah, rook g5 bishop e1 bishop h4 no follow up I need to find a move uh, bishop c3 must be the start now rook d7 is one option it looks really good another one is rook h3 but then bishop e5 so yes now I can take and I'm winning if you take rook g7 rook g5 I think I have to take. Wait, if I take on b7, then you don't have a move simply. Ah, rook f takes f2. Okay, so rook d2, e3, and f e3, and that's game over. Rook protects g2. Okay, 22, 22. Here we go, here we go. Let's get on with it. Adjusting my goals twice already. Queen g4, king h3. 
queen d4. Queen f5, g4. Same here. Yes! Okay, seven more points. Technically 6.1. Okay, let's get it. Let's get on with it. Queen g1, threatening mate, but then queen d3. Okay, so... Mm. It's not looking so pleasant right now, but... So, I make some random move, then queen d3. Maybe I just move my king away. They don't see a good square. No, come on, it's, it shouldn't be that complicated. Just, just take, maybe? But it seems like a perpetual check. Come on! So tough. <clears throat> so let's reach twenty two twenty two and then ad address Mike's uh, message uh, from the other day. And I just mentioned in the meantime that uh, I was uh, saying in the beginning of the video that I've had some issues with the symbolic age of being twenty five years old and being under pressure from many people who seem to care about me, so to speak, to find a better, again, so to speak, a better uh, route in my life than chess or more rewarding um, path. But that's what I love to do. That's what I'm currently good at. And I'm going to follow uh, what I do best. And I mean, Regardless to streaming and the tips and everything, even before that, I I got paid for something that I'm willing to do for free. So why should I change everything in order to to have more? More of what? More money? I mean, and also more suffering potentially. So I don't know. If life is good enough, then why risk whatever we have in order to improve it? better improve it without risking anything so let's see maybe king c1 No. <laughs> King D2? No. Anyway, A8. Aha! Uh -huh. A very simple move that I missed, followed by Knight xe 2 Game over. Yeah. I wonder what's wrong with King C1. Maybe some Queen move, but... I can't see what's wrong with this. I don't see a flaw in my suggestion. Probably bishop moves backwards followed by queen f1 ideas. In any case, uh, interesting. So. Not much time left.
Bishop takes b7, looks like a good move. But then rook c1 and rook b7. So, mm, knight d7 followed by knight takes c1. We made it! Okay, 10 more points. 9.2 more points. Okay. Queen c4 looks like a nice move. Followed by knight f4. Queen b3, knight c7 even. Alright! 7.5 more points. Not knight of six, queen takes c8 first. Now knight of six. No, just rook takes c8. And knight of six, bishop f5, h6 is, is the threat. That's probably inevitable. Uh huh. Why is knight of six straight away so bad? My idea was that here I play queen takes c8. I guess this is a slight problem. I, I thought the rook was unprotected on f8 and I could just take it. But I guess I was wrong. Oh man, how much time for the song? Okay, three more minutes. I don't think it's gonna be easy to make it. But then again, if it was easy, well, I wouldn't uh, be here. So, let's go here. Queen takes. Bishop e6, so let's go here. No! It is queen takes? Seriously? I miss d5. Okay. Ah, okay, let's finish on a good note. Let's solve the last one correctly. I'm black! Oh, I'm going forward. Okay, how many legal moves do I have? That don't give up my queen. Okay, two... But three, okay. King d7 allows him to capture. King b6 looks like the right way, but... Yeah, but again, if you capture, I have some checks. If, all I need to do is to get your rook somehow. No, but this is really annoying. How can I calculate all the checks? It takes me a few minutes to do it over the board, and here they give me a few seconds only to lose rating. Okay, so let's go with king uh, king d5, knight b7, I wouldn't know, king d5, you have another check on d2, I have to go somewhere. C5 doesn't look like a best possible square. Okay, let's go here. Okay, now this is the key moment. How to get your rook. So either f6 or e1 check. f6 makes sense because wherever you go with the king, I'll take your rook. You have to go bishop g5. And then... How do I get your rook? Queen d4, forcing you to go king h5. Queen d1, okay. Yes! 
All time high tactic correct. Blitz. Hmm. This is the best, the highest uh, tactic uh, rating I've solved. Because every, every problem has a rating. And this one seemed to be 2300. Okay, I forgot to mark last problem for session and the music has finished. So this will be officially the last one. I still want to finish on a good note, so I'm gonna go rock if 7 quickly. And now take and queen e5 and win. Alright, 2207 is not a bad rating. Uh, I didn't mention it out loud, but I was really hoping that um, I'll finish the session with above 2200 rating. And we managed to do it together. <laughs> After two hours, finally I'll get some food. But first, I'll read uh, the message by Mike. Um, or at least the part that may, may be shared with the public. I don't see a reason not to share it because it's a public message. If he didn't want something to be mentioned, then probably... Uh, wouldn't uh, write it in this format and you can uh, you can find my email very easily if, if anyone has something private to write so let's see I'm gonna read it because uh, it was a really nice message a little bit long but it's, it's gonna be a nice note To this stream. Hey Tal, I wanted to respond to some of your comments that you made early in the video along with a suggestion about future videos that you might consider. As far as being pressured on the so-called living a normal life, with uh, quotes, I can relate to this. I've been retired for a few years, but when I first decided to go into, uh, I'm not gonna read uh, all the details, but I'll say decided to go into the field where I went many years ago, I was told by my parents and friends not to pursue something so risky and that I should look for something more stable and normal. Everyone felt that attempting to make a living managing uh, other people's money was just too high risk with limited upside potential. However, I ignored them and pursued the field that I loved and had a passion for. After 10 years in the field, I was extremely successful and became a nationally known financial advisor. I have known super successful people all over the US and I have learned the following. If you are really good at something, anything, then business and financial success can come relatively easily. The key is following what you love and have a passion for it. Uh, if you do that, then success will come. You are clearly really good at something. Very few people could ever become a GM. As a side note. And on top of that, you have a gift for communicating and educating the public in this one particular area. Your love and passion comes through your videos, which is also important. After retirement, three years ago, I decided to take up chess again as a hobby. I had played it on and off for many years, but just as a casual player who wasn't really good at it. But once I started reading about it and studying the game, watching YouTube chess videos, I boosted my rating up to around 1400 or so. Um, and then some more details, uh, I'll spare them for now, if you don't mind. And uh, I read the entire message myself, but I just don't want to read everything. And then later on, lastly, or maybe even here. Um, I was a national speaker for a number of years. So I know the importance of being able to communicate and entertain an audience while providing useful info at the same time. You definitely have this gift. 
Hutch, even though he is just an average chess player, is a great entertainer and is fun to watch. And you two together were a great combo. I hope you both will do more together in the future. Lastly, I hope you will consider doing something like John did with his climbing the ladder videos. <laughs> Funny that I'm reading it now because I, I, I really didn't think about it when starting this particular stream. I, but it's, it's a different topic but the same title. Um, if you could play 10 to 15 minute games with average players instead of playing 3 minute uh, games which are too fast for average players to follow bullet games with other masters that I play so basically instead of blitz and bullet to play longer games and explain why I'm making each and every move I believe it will be a big hit remember most players are not 2000 and above uh, they are between 1000 to 1600 range in most cases and could really benefit from something like this. Either way, I wanted to personally thank you for the videos you did with Hatch. Um, wait, I lost it. Yeah. I'm now watching your Go sessions with Hatch to get a double dose of these great lessons, as they are responsible for boosting me up to around 1600 range at this point. Keep up the great work. What can I say? That's... Reading this message at the waking up like the other day was was really a great gift and uh, I'm very happy to have seen it and now tipping a hundred dollars I mean man you just just watch the videos if you want you don't have to like do so much for me it's it's really more more than enough and uh, just uh, if you want. To support in any farther way, I think the hot special will be a, the best route. I mean, it's really, really nice of you, and uh, I'm very happy to to have such amazing supporters. And I just want to stress about the suggestion. I agree, it's a really good idea to do a 10 to 15 minute games and explain while playing against average players. But the reason I don't do it and probably won't do it too often or at all in the near future is because um, I want to improve my own chess. That's my main priority. As a player with a much higher rating, I think I'll have more prospects to help more people get to receive exposure to chess in the future. And also, it will help me uh, fulfill myself more. Uh, and uh, I feel like uh, teaching, in the sense of playing against players who don't necessarily challenge me, is a counterproductive uh, way to spend my time for my own improvement. It will improve others more right now, but it doesn't necessarily will uh, will achieve the best result in the long run. So I will do such things, but again, as part of the Patreon-related uh, rewards. And uh, yeah, I hope it answers your question. Uh, you're, and I really like the suggestion. I'll, I'll definitely do something like this. And the, the hot special is aimed to to be able to do such a thing. And if people will love it and support it, then I, I'm willing to do it even once a week. Uh, and then there is going to be an almost unlimited uh, amount of of uh, uh, content for you guys to to keep improving forever. And um, yeah, there is one more note that I had in mind uh, regarding these uh, these videos. Something that I really appreciate uh, that I didn't think about when I started the channel, but everyone nowadays they do videos for beginners because they want to go for quantity. I've always been more uh, leaning towards the the quality aspect of things and the highest possible standards when it comes to my own chess and to teaching and I feel like the people above 1600 level are, are a bit uh, neglected and uh, nobody does free videos for them and I figured uh, I can be like uh, some form of a pioneer in this topic and I know I'll have much less followers potentially um, maybe receive much less money and so on but 
uh, I can find more people like Mike uh, here who will really, really receive a lot. Instead of giving a little bit to like a very large amount of people that, that already has a lot of chess content uh, that's great online, I want to give a lot of value uh, even to if it means to only small amount of people will be able to get it. So I don't even care if I have only 100 like loyal viewers as long as they will like receive as much as possible from 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 the my endeavors. So without uh, further ado, I want to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you learned something from this video or at least enjoyed uh, solving the tactics with me. And if you want to learn some more, then keep watching the next videos.